Elon Musk's Neuralink startup is set to begin human trials. ChatGPT is getting better and smarter. The week gone by was buzzing with a lot of exciting tech developments and we bring you the most interesting ones in our tech wrap. Elon Musk's brain chip startup Neuralink is going to start human trial of brain implant for paralysis patients. The company has got the approval from US regulators to test its brain implants in people. Those with paralysis due to cervical spinal cord injury or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis may qualify for the study. There is no clarity as to how many participants will be enrolled in the trial. The study will use a robot to surgically place a brain computer interface implant in a region of the brain that controls the intention to move. The aim of Neuralink implants is to enable human brain to communicate directly with computers. Its initial goal is to enable people to control a computer cursor or keyboard using their thoughts alone. Musk has grand ambitions for Neuralink. In the future, the firm could facilitate speedy surgical insertions of its chip devices to treat conditions like obesity, autism, depression and schizophrenia. ChatGPT can now generate images. And to the surprise of many, they're shockingly detailed. Users can type in a request for an image and tweak the prompt through conversations with ChatGPT. OpenAI says the latest version of the tool will have more safeguards. The company will limit its ability to generate violent, adult or hateful content. OpenAI's race to create accurate text-to-image AI tools has several competitors such as Midjourney and Stability AI. However, there are several concerns related to AI-generated images. For instance, in the United States, a Washington DC court has ruled that a work of art created by AI without any human input cannot be copyrighted under US law. WhatsApp will offer credit card payments and services from rival digital payment providers with its app in India. People shopping on WhatsApp could pay using popular services like Google Pay, Paytm and PhonePay, but only after being redirected outside WhatsApp. But now, payments via those rival services and any others that run on UPI will be possible directly within WhatsApp. New in-app options for credit and debit cards will also be offered. This is the latest bet by the Meta-owned service to boost commerce offerings in its biggest market. This is the fusion of art and technology. The first edition of the biennial Rio de Janeiro exhibition has kicked off and it showcases 70 interactive works. It houses works such as machine that shapes social relationships, light that springs to explain quantum physics and robots with tentacles that react to human movements. Housed in the Museum of Tomorrow, it aims to engage the public with unique experiences. The program is basically celebrating the diversity and innovation of art and technology. Google is introducing Bard, its artificially intelligent chatbot, to other members of its digital family such as Gmail, Maps and YouTube. The company is seeking to ward off competitive threats posed by similar technology run by OpenAI and Microsoft. Bard's expanded capabilities will be provided through an English-only extension. It will enable users to allow the chatbot to mine information embedded in their Gmail accounts, pull directions from Google Maps and find helpful videos on YouTube. This extension will also open a door for Bard to fetch travel information from Google Flights and extract information from documents stored on Google Drive. Google is promising to protect users' privacy by prohibiting human reviewers from seeing the potentially sensitive information that Bard gets from Gmail or Drive. The company also says that the data won't be used to sell targeted ads and make money.
Social media platform X, which was formerly known as Twitter, could go behind paywall. Elon Musk has suggested that users of the platform may have to pay to access the platform. In other words, Musk is considering charging all X users a monthly fee. This happened during a conversation with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The billionaire said that a payment system is the only way to counter bots. X users believe that this move could finally put an end to the site. Analysts question the logic behind this move, and experts think it could make the platform even less appealing to advertisers.